Hello, beautiful moms-to-be. We're dedicating this session to your fitness journey. We're exploring workouts specifically for you that promote overall well-being. Discover routines that uplift energy, designed with your needs in mind. These exercises are perfect for maintaining your glow and fitness during pregnancy. So, why wait? Jump into this world of empowering workouts, curated to keep you fit and glowing. Keep that glow and stay fit together. Understanding the importance of staying active during pregnancy can significantly impact both your health and your babies. Exercise is not just about maintaining your previous fitness level or aiming for new milestones. Instead, the emphasis lies on enhancing your health, comfort, and preparing your body for the impending labor. Engaging in appropriate physical activities during this period provides numerous benefits. First, it helps manage weight gain, which can potentially reduce complications during pregnancy and delivery. Second, it elevates mood, providing an overall sense of well-being. Moreover, workouts can improve sleep quality, helping your body recover from the day's fatigue. Activities such as yoga or low-impact aerobics can also alleviate pregnancy discomfort, providing relief from common issues like back pain and fatigue. A significant advantage of staying active during pregnancy is the reduced risk of gestational diabetes and pregnancy-induced hypertension. Both these conditions pose considerable threats to you and your baby's health. Exercise during pregnancy not only helps control these risks, but can also contribute to a faster recovery post-birth. Research also indicates that maternal exercise might positively influence your baby's future athletic performance, yet it's essential to exercise moderation. Listen to your body and stop if something feels uncomfortable. Remember your priority is nurturing life. Safe exercises not only benefit you but also contribute to a healthier pregnancy. Let's kick it off with some gentle cardio and low-impact moves. Our goal today is to get your heart rate up and your blood flowing without causing any stress or strain on your body. Remember, the key is to operate within your comfort zone. We'll take it step by step, and the first step is a simple march in place. Here's what you have to do. Stand tall, relax your shoulders, and start lifting those knees. Incorporate your arms into the movement, swinging them in time with your legs. It's a rhythmic, almost dance-like movement that engages the entire body. This form of marching in place is a great way to get your heart rate up in a safe, controlled manner. Just remember to maintain a rhythm that feels comfortable for you. After we've marched for a bit, we'll transition to sidesteps. This is another low-impact move that keeps you active and helps to improve your coordination. Start by stepping to your right and bring your left foot to meet the right one. Then, reverse the movement, stepping to your left and bring your right foot to meet the left one. Repeat this sequence for a few minutes. This back and forth movement is simple, yet effective. It gets your body moving in a lateral direction without putting too much strain on your joints. Up next is arm circles. This is a wonderful exercise to keep your upper body engaged. Start by standing tall, extend your arms out to your sides at shoulder height. With your palms facing down, start making slow, controlled circles with your arms. This is a fantastic exercise for promoting circulation and keeping your upper body active. At this point, we'll transition to seated exercises. For these, you'll need a sturdy chair. Grab one and let's get started with seated leg lifts. Sit up straight, engage your core, extend one leg out in front of you, hold it there for a moment, then lower it back down, then switch legs. This exercise targets your quadriceps, the large muscles at the front of your thighs, and does so without high impact, which is great for those with joint concerns. Another seated exercise we'll try is ankle rotations. These rotations are excellent for maintaining flexibility and circulation in your lower legs. Lift one foot off the ground and gently rotate your ankle in a circular motion. After a few rotations, switch directions, then switch to the other foot. Finally, we reach the last exercise of our session, push-ups. This exercise is wonderful for engaging your upper body and core muscles. Here's how it works. Stand about arm's length from a wall, place your hands against the wall, and gently push your body away, then bring it back. It's a great low-impact exercise that focuses on upper body strength. Remember, the goal here is not to exhaust yourself, but to keep your body moving and active in a safe, controlled manner. Listen to your body and adjust as needed. If any exercise feels uncomfortable, it's okay to skip it or modify it to suit your needs. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise routine. Make sure these exercises are safe for you and your baby perfect for boosting energy without compromising your safety or your babies. 
moving on to strength and toning exercises designed specifically for expectant mothers. This segment is devoted to delivering you with an array of exercises that can assist in building your strength and toning your body, all while catering to the special needs and considerations of pregnancy. The focus is to fortify your body while ensuring you're safe and comfortable during your workout. Our first exercise is the Pregnancy Safe Squat. This is an outstanding way to fortify your legs and your core, both of which are extremely essential during pregnancy and childbirth. The crucial element here is to keep the spine aligned, lower your body as though you're about to sit on a chair, and then rise back up. Experience the surge of power in your thighs and buttocks as you maintain this movement. This exercise not only strengthens your body, but also enhances your endurance, which is of vital importance as pregnancy progresses. Our exercise is the standing leg lift. This is a particularly useful exercise for toning the muscles in your legs and buttocks. Position yourself next to a chair for balance, lift one leg to the side, and then lower it back down. Repeat this with your other leg. This exercise is designed to augment your balance, which can sometimes be a challenge during pregnancy. The added bonus is that this exercise also encourages better blood circulation, providing more oxygen and nutrients both mother and baby. Our third exercise is the seated row. This exercise is aimed at strengthening your back, shoulders and arms. With a resistance band in hand, sit on the floor with your legs extended. Wrap the band around the soles of your feet and grab the ends in each hand. Pull the band towards you, squeezing your shoulder blades together, then slowly release it. This exercise is particularly beneficial as it prepares your upper body for the physical demands of carrying a baby. Strengthening these muscles will prove invaluable when you're holding and carrying your little one. We finalize our exercise list with the wall push-up. This exercise is a pregnancy-friendly iteration of a classic push-up. Stand facing a wall, place your hands against it, and push your body away from the wall. This activity is meant to tone your arms, chest, and shoulders. This will provide not just strength but also resilience as you prepare for motherhood. Remember to start slow with these exercises and gradually build up your strength. Be mindful of your body and take breaks whenever necessary. These exercises are designed not only to prepare your body for childbirth, but also to foster confidence and capability. Listen to your body and take breaks when you need to. These exercises are designed to help you feel empowered, strong, and prepared for the journey ahead. Strengthen those muscles that will support you throughout your pregnancy journey. Embrace the beauty of flexibility and relaxation techniques. These methods are not only beneficial for your physical well-being, but also for your mental tranquility. Now, let's introduce some gentle stretches. These are designed to help you maintain flexibility and to promote mobility, easing the strain on your joints as your body adjusts to the changes brought about by pregnancy. Now, on to yoga. Yoga is a fantastic way to relax your mind and body. It's all about harmonizing the two, bringing about a sense of peace and balance. For expectant mothers, it's also a great way to connect with your growing baby. There are various poses you can try, such as the cat-cow pose, which is excellent for stretching and relieving tension in the back, or the butterfly pose, which targets hip flexibility. Remember, the goal here isn't to push your body to its limits. Instead, it's about finding a comfortable range of movement and maintaining a sense of calm. You might find that these exercises help to alleviate common discomforts associated with pregnancy, such as back pain or swelling. Always listen to your body. If a stretch or pose doesn't feel right, don't push it. There's no competition here. It's all about what feels good for you and your baby. Yoga poses and gentle stretches to ease any discomfort and promote a sense of calm. Let's enjoy this peaceful journey together, embracing the changes with grace and strength. To all the amazing moms-to-be out there, remember, this journey is about staying healthy, happy, and strong. We've delved into the realm of safe and empowering workout routines, designed with your unique needs in mind. From gentle cardio and low-impact moves to strength and toning exercises, we've explored a range of activities that boost energy and promote overall well-being. We've also touched on the beauty of flexibility and relaxation techniques, essential components for easing discomfort and fostering a sense of calm during this transformative period. The key takeaway is this. Maintaining a fitness routine during pregnancy isn't solely about staying in shape. It's about nurturing your body, preparing for the journey ahead, and celebrating the powerful woman you are. So, as we wrap up today's session, let's remember to embrace these changes, 
to support one another, and to continue this empowering fitness journey, embrace the changes and let's empower each other through fitness.